I was one of those kids that's always doodling. <laughs> doodling on the inside of their books, doodling on the outside of their books, doodling on their textbooks, doodling on other people's textbooks. You could say Ryan is a bit of a doodler. He doodled as a kid, and now he doodles as an adult. In fact, he comes from a long line of doodlers. My grandmother was an artist, and then my father as well, and, uh, and neither of them really pursued it to the point where they were making a living at it, but both of them had that, I guess they would say that, uh, that draw to be artists. And over the years, Ryan has turned his art of doodling into something more, something that has meaning to it, something that he is proud of. I think it's been in the family for a long time, and I feel like it's, it, there's maybe a little bit of an obligation to make the most of it, because it's, it's something that not, not everybody has sort of that predisposition to be able to create art and so it's interesting for me because I feel like it's a little bit of a something that's passed down and uh, and like I say my my grandmother had it and my father me and now my daughter and, and maybe one day her kids will have it too. As you can tell Ryan is a passionate guy. He loves his family. He definitely loves his art and he also has a love for wildlife. I grew up uh, here on the island and I, um, I spent most of my childhood in, in the forest. And uh, then, it, as it turns out, in, in my work, I spend a lot of time also out in the forest. Ryan, as a person, is extremely passionate about art in general. And I think you can really see that, again, in his pieces here. I think he's got a passion on an educational aspect of it as well. He's really trying to highlight the conservation behind the animals in these pictures that he's painted. Really any species um, that we run across, it's valuable knowing a little bit about them and understanding what makes them special and it gives you a better appreciation of them and a better understanding when you're out in the wilderness, when you see these things, what is it that they bring to the ecosystem or even just to give you a, a sense of the overwhelming diversity that, that occurs here on the coast. Ryan's acrylic airbrush exhibit, Wild West Coast, brings his early days of doodling to a professional level, making it an exhibit you don't want to miss. He is certainly a man with a passion, and um, I hope people do come to see this show because it's very, um, it really emphasizes Again, his passion, but also the wildlife that's sort of indicative to our area. And, and he also makes it a very educational um, exhibit. So it's something for everybody. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin.